be going so hard on the flip side So tell me we'll be on a date, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low Watch the path of your feet And all your ways will be established Okay, girl, so I'm finally here at Flea Feet About to get fitted for some work shoes, I'm excited He's doing his work stuff, don't pay him no mind But yeah, girl, I mean, the hair is trying to give, though I like it we are here the girls put me on so let's go get fitted for some shoes for work like we talked about it's just slightly wider on one foot oh. um, we can go to a wide shoe just to see if that gives you a little bit more comfort in the ball of your foot and the forefoot okay okay arch height our arches are a little bit on that low side through here mm -hmm. and so we can see that on your left side it's a little bit more um, low than, than it would be on your right side and this is your right arch so right. a little bit higher giving a little flat foot look like it's okay a lot of people have different feet um, I have people who range all the way up here, which is not great because it's like all the pressures on your ball of your foot and yeah. your forefoot. Or people with lower arches tend to have a really flexible foot and they pronate inwards. And I'll be able to see that when I look to your scan. Okay. In step high, you don't have a super high volume foot. Basically, all that means is the distance from the bottom of your foot to the very top. If you had like a high arch, it would just push you up in the shoe. Mm -hmm. So it'd be a high end step. Okay. okay. Yeah. You don't really have that. And we're measuring it at a wide on your heel. So overall, you can kind of see how one heel is a little bit wider than the other. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, and that's pretty normal. Like one foot's gonna be slightly different, kind of like your feet are exactly half a size difference. Half a size difference. Mm -hmm. And we go with the bigger foot. Okay. Because the bigger foot is typically what gets damaged more often. I knew something was off with these feet a long time ago. But most people do measure in about a half size different. Okay. Yeah, so you're not like, it's actually more weird for me to see somebody who measures in like everything is the exact same. Yeah. 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 So let's look at this dynamic skin. Also, I'm going to take a look at your Achilles real quick. I, so I don't know if you can see, but you see how your ankles collapse in? Yeah. There's a curve. I think that we're going to go a stability route. Okay. So your foot is flexible, super normal for people that have kind of that flatter foot profile. Because mm -hmm. what happens is your arch just goes. Just collapses right okay so your foot is very like your foot can change really well with different surfaces mm -hmm. because it is more flexible but that also means that you tend to crush cushion on the inside of your shoe mm -hmm. so finding something with a little bit more stability that's structured yeah it's gonna keep your foot feeling better it's also gonna keep the integrity of the shoe for longer right yeah yeah all right and then here's our dynamic scan and like I said so I can really tell that you definitely are flexible because let's replay it your big toe receives a lot of pressure so you're coming in and you're swooping in so when you walk you're rotating mm -hmm. okay yeah, so that's telling me you have a flexible foot but let's see these pressure points heel big toe heel big toe a little bit on the outside but mostly on the heel and the big toe 
Okay. Okay. So that kind of tells me like to be able to do this. Okay. Yeah. Instead of being this. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with bunions. Oh yeah. But those are painful. You know, I've seen a video painful. on that on Facebook. They're what? so painful. Yeah, you got a bunion. No, I just work with a lot of people here who have them. Yeah. Yeah, and so and because you are measuring in wider, if we put you in a small shoe, you're even more prone to getting those bunions. Yeah, I want a bunion a lot of now. This, I imagine you probably experience a lot of this. Yeah. Rubbing here, so. This is the Hoka Arahi. There's a slight guide plate inside of it to prevent you from turning over. Okay. It's a little bit more structured. It's basically the Hoka Clifton right there. This is the same same shoe, but with a guide plate. Okay. Okay. As you can see, Hoka's have a wide last on the bottom. Yeah. They give you plenty of stability, just period. Um, and there's also a meta rocker that propels you forward when you walk. Okay? So let's give this a try. Okay, y'all, don't mind me. I'm a little ashy, as you can see. But let's talk about these shoes. I have a lot of room. My big toe is right here. And they do have the arch support right there. I feel it when I walk. Feels like I'm walking on cloud nine, girl. They look big, but this is the size up. It's like a six and a half. We're going to go down to a six when she brings it out. But yeah girl they are giving comfortable 12 hour shift of work these shoes are made for walking that's just what they'll do okay wider toe box which for you is a good thing because like we said we don't want to see you pushing out on the shoe yeah we want you to be like in the actual shoe itself and not feel like you were like rubbing against the side of the shoe okay so we're gonna try this. Hold this in a six because I think going down in the six in this this brand is a good idea. Okay. Because I just felt like there was a little bit too much room in the toe box mm -hmm. in that other shoe. Okay. So we shall see about that. And press down. There you go. I'll pull your. Does this feel more secure? Yeah. Good. And so it is more structured, so you're not going to be collapsing as much as you would in like a, the shoe you're wearing. Yeah. Currently. Yeah. That has no support. Yeah. Like, literally nothing. Yeah. They're cute. Cause, but no support. Her no. feet was hurting. I was like, oh no. Yeah. And it might be a good idea, once we find a shoe that we really like, mm -hmm. to try some insoles. Have okay. Have you ever worn insoles before? No. So basically, is they just distribute pressure equally across the foot, mm -hmm. because inside the shoe, it's actually just completely flat. Like there's no arch in a shoe, okay. right? There's support, just no arch.
Okay, babe, all I wanna ask you is This is the adrenaline. The adrenaline, yes. The adrenaline, okay. And it has a guide rail that runs right here along the yeah. side of your foot, okay? Alright, give that a try. All right, girl, let me go ahead and turn Beyonce down because we don't have time for no copyright. My videos are always getting copyrighted because of the um, sounds in the background. But, y'all, I went to um, Marshall's. I was supposed to go for a planner, but I went and got clothes. I spent like $120 on clothes, but it's clothes for church, so can't go wrong with clothes for church, right? Torje. This is gonna be the last stop of the day because I spent too much money on nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So just in case that you thought that planning wasn't a thing, planning is definitely a thing because stuff is really picked over and I'm in Target. And I'm probably not gonna go anywhere else, so. Yeah, just wanted to show you. Planning is definitely picked over. Yeah. It's not many to choose from especially with the one that I want so planning is picked over planning is picked over real bad on these planning schedules yeah planning is really picked over real bad here yep so yeah picked over real bad and this is sugar paper essentials yeah. like even the journals are picked over real bad real bad yeah okay so let's get out of here so I'm hot today I am seriously hot today and I got my jacket on I'm in this elevator because I'm going to go get me some breakfast. Every morning I get me breakfast at the hospital because why not? I mean, they got Chick-fil-A and Subway here and Starbucks. Probably going to get me a refresher this morning. This gives a refresher vibe, but I really need an energy drink. So I'm going to get me a Celsius. I love those in the morning. And they're a natural energy drink. Let me put y'all on. And let's hope I'm on the right floor because I do this sometimes. Okay, yeah, I think so. But yeah, girl, hold on. I want to check this out, this time clock conversion because if you don't clock out in time here, like one time at 7 o'clock, you're going to lose time. But... Let's go get some breakfast and let's test out these shoes.
y'all. So I got my breakfast, got my Celsius, got my refresher, and I'm about to go eat my breakfast before I start my day. And girl, I'm going all the way up until the 11th floor. They better stay had to come on because I'm not holding no elevator for nobody, baby. <laughs> nobody. Okay, girl, so I am doing my labels, which are these. And these are what I would label the bottles with. Patient name, patient room number, and if they're getting plain breast milk or breast milk with human milk fortifier. <sighs> okay, y'all, so the church just hit me up and said that we're having baptisms on Sunday. Mind you, I done signed up to get baptized again. And I've already been baptized before in my life but I signed up to get baptized again. I don't know if I'm gonna do it because I just got my hair done on Monday. So, that is the dilemma. I just got my hair done. I'm still doing labels at work. So, obviously you can see that. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that while I am doing my job, so we have a little chit chat. Cause again, I just got my hair done. I would love to do it, but I really just got my hair done. Really, like, and I'm trying to grow my hair. I don't want them to slip out, you know? And they're a little and short. I don't want them to slip out. I think they're cute. So, that is what's going on now. I'm trying to figure that out, and I'm still doing labels, which I should be finishing up soon with this anyways. And I have to pee. Really have to pee. So yeah, girl. That is my day at work. This is my day. We do this every day. Put these labels on the breast milk bottles. Donor milk. You know, it's a vibe. It is a vibe. I'm finally on the windows. Oh my god. So yeah, girl, I'll let y'all know about that. That's that's in the air right now. I gotta talk to my husband about that. Yeah, girl, I'll be talking to my man about stuff. He's my best friend, so I gotta talk to him about me getting baptized and to see what he thinks. Because again, I just got my hair done. Y'all, I look, I look, <laughs> I, I wish I had my camera to record because it's not giving a vibe that I like. But what else? Girl, I'm driving this cart, this breast milk cart, struggling. It does what it wants to do. All right, girl. I done finished work and I finished work on time. I got my milk delivered before five. I think my milk was delivered literally. I got done and I got back in the room at 5 p.m. on the dot. I'm literally walking on this long walk back to my car because I done completed my work shift, girl. One more to go. That's two out of three, baby. Two out of three. Yes, Lord. Y'all. I need to get back in the gym ASAP. Cause I think I gained like five pounds and it's not okay. Cause I'm always coming here and I'm always going to this cafeteria <clears throat> and I'm not about to do that neither. If I don't bring lunch from home, I just won't eat. And I'm not about to keep getting pancakes every morning I work neither. That's a no, no. And that's why I'm having my issue. And I don't even know why we gotta swipe our badge to get out of there. But we just gotta move our hand to get in. I don't understand, girl. I'm just ready to go.
get ready to let's go on home. It's 7.05. We did our job. We did our job good. We did our job the best we could. And we gonna go home. And we gonna go home. And we gonna get in the bed. And we gonna be on the phone. And we gonna be chilling because we done worked. Okay? Okay, girl. Let's go home. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Wrap it up, Ben. Wrap it up. Yeah.